we opened up these cracks only so that we could fill it back up again. The reason being is because the whoever done this before they didn't do a good job. Now what I mean by that they left the bottom, they left a, they left a line um, going all the way down at the bottom. That was allowing <clears throat> worms and insects to get in, and then they were attracting moisture, soil and whatnot, and that in return caused damp. So what we did is we opened up those cracks further as you can see and then well we started filling it um, we just used plaster and sand and cement five to one really and a bit of sharp sand as well to the mixture that's it so all I've done is I've added my measurement and then using this drill mixing it instead Now you've got to bear in mind the temperature. Uh, we're in wind summer now, so I have to make this bit runny. At the same time, I go along with my spray gun here and spray along like so. So again, it helps with uh, binding and at the same time, this way it won't dry out the render too quickly. Which gives it time to, like I said, that uh, uh, it'll, 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 it'll enable it to bond with the material, the background, far better, and then you'll have a strong render. Uh, this is more like filling. This is not really rendering, but you know, you get the point anyway. Anyhow. Oh, before that, we applied waterproofing uh, liquid all the way along, again just to add much barrier as possible. Although these walls have cavity, so that should be fine. But anyway, it doesn't harm, does it?